Who doesn't like a funky bit of kit? Well, this one from Air Force One is definitely funky, and there is quite a bit of kit to keep you interested in it. It is the Trophy Mark II, either Target or Vermin. <laughs> Welcome to AAR on Air. This week it's the turn of the Trophy Mark II from the guys at Air Force One. This does come in two different styles, the Target and the Vermin. So what's the difference between the two? Well, basically, it's the calibre. The Target, as you would expect, is in .177 calibre, and the Vermin is in .22. Now, apart from the calibre, the power levels are also different, with the .22 or Vermin version having a little more stopping power. Let's take a look at the pistol and then explore that power issue a little later on. This does come in the box fully loaded with silencer, two magazines, a single shot tray, detachable shoulder stock and even the option of a front grip and red dot sight. Here it is fully made up with the silencer and shoulder stock fitted and this gives this all black and futuristic looking pistol a total length of 750mm or 29.5 inches. The included silencer screws on to the half inch UNF threaded 210mm long barrel and does make a huge difference to the overall bark of this. Immediately behind this is the fixed post front sight that mates up with a fully adjustable rear sight covering off elevation and windage. This is a bolt action pistol and has quite a nice smooth action to it for such a budget item. The top rail is dovetail and will allow the removal of the open sight and fitting of the optional red dot or any other sighting aid of your choice. It takes a single 12 gram CO2 that is fitted into the underside of the barrel and this should be good for around 40 shots. Weather and temperature dependent of course. This can be shot using the supplied single shot tray or by using one of the two supplied 9 shot in 177 or 7 shot in 22 magazines. There is a rail on the underside of the front to which you can add all types of toys. In this case, it is the rather useful and stabilising grip or bipod. The trigger is basically a single stage item and has a heavier pull weight but not overly heavy at only three pounds. The grip is very ergonomic and is equally as comfortable left or right handed but also has an emphasis on futuristic style. The clip in additional stock is simplicity itself to fit and adds a whole new level of stability. The first thing to do is to remove the bungs from the top and bottom of the rear of the pistol. Now you may need a screwdriver to just ease carefully the bottom one out. Then push in the stock into place and it clicks into place and it's absolutely solid. Now with this in place added stability now makes this very rifle like. Now with the extra power level from the 2.2 it could be used as a close up ratting tool potentially. Time to get this over the chronograph to confirm that last statement. In 177 calibre first. Using 8.44 grain pellets it saw a maximum of 484 feet per second which is 4.39 foot pounds or 5.95 joules. Using the heavier 10.34 grains it saw 441 feet per second which is a slightly higher power of 4.47 foot pounds or 6.06 .06 joules. The main point here is that this is firing faster in 177 calibre and will give a flatter trajectory for your target work. 
hence the 177 being called the target mark 2. If we repeat the test over the chronograph with the 2.2 calibre version, then using 15.89 grains, we saw 406 feet per second, which is 5.82 foot pounds, or 7.89 joules, which is about as powerful as the UK law will allow in a pistol. And hence, this is called the Vermin Mark II, because this is the higher power version with greater stopping power. Earlier, I said this could be used for close up rat work. At this point, I would like to point out that this isn't really suitable for such as pigeon work out at 40 metres, for example. The retained power at that distance will not cleanly dispatch pests. Time to get this out in the field to test the accuracy. I think we can stretch this out to around 20 metres. It is a stabilised pistol, after all. And red dot fitted. Here goes. The Air Force One Trophy Mark II. Now this one's the target one, so that makes it a 177 as opposed to the Vermin, which makes it a 2.2. And as we've already seen, the power levels are a little bit better on the 2.2, but of course the, the speed is on the 177 for a flatter trajectory. I've fitted the optional extra red dot and grip. The grip makes it really nice and stable, or you can use it as a bipod as well, which is great. The one thing I must say about it is it's pretty solid. It's pretty, pretty strong, and I know that because there's mud all over this, I've just dropped it all over the floor, picked it up and it's exactly the same where it was. So <laughs> yeah, it, it'll take a knock or two, which is always useful. It's a nice day, they have forecast thunderstorms, so I better get on with it. Target down there 20 metres, which is, I think it's easily capable of doing it with this kind of power level, but obviously I'm just using a straightforward one times optic on this so I'm not I haven't got a really really small uh, no magnified sorry uh, image to shoot at so I'm, I'm shooting at something quite small from that distance grouping is what we're looking at as always uh, sadly it is a bit of a test of me and my eyesight with this one but the other thing to point out as well is you get a single shot tray in the box amongst lots of other things and you get two magazines nine as it were in this case with the 177 the only thing to point out if i'm being absolutely honest is they're not massively expensive magazines so don't think you're going to get the same sort of quality as you would from a 50 60 quid magazine you're not going to let's say they are adequate what I would suggest if you're going to genuinely do a bit of target work is do what I'm about to do, and that is use a single shot tray. Let's have a go, shall we? I really can't see what I'm doing. I've got shoot and see targets out down there, which do make it easier. I can see I've hit it. And to be honest, I think it's doing pretty darn good. Yeah, it looks like it. Either that or I'm missing completely and I'm still looking at the one hole. I do quite like these optics. It's essentially, I mean, it's done as a PAO, but it's essentially um, a Vict Optics scope. They'll all be made at the same place and you can vary the different reticles, etc., on it. and have red or green 
they're pretty good and they're not expensive. Well, I'm hoping I've proven a point there. Shall we go and see? No safety on these, not as far as I can find. The safety really is just don't cock it. And if you take that, that's fine. Let's go and have a look. That's how I dropped it last time. Right, here we go. Sun's going in. Oh, that's some black clouds. I don't think that's bad. Just taking a look at that. I don't know how many shots I took at you. I was busy nattering away and shooting and quite enjoying it. But they're all pretty darn centered. Uh, my thumb would, thumbnail would easily cover them all. Probably my fingernail would come pretty close to it. I say it's at 20 meters, just shooting off this little rest, which is very good, it has to be said. <sighs> I don't think there's a lot to complain about. I'm impressed with two things. One, the accuracy of that, and two, how well I did, to be fair, with just a one times magnification red dot. It's pretty good. And this is the gun that I dropped on the floor in the mud earlier on. Seems to be doing absolutely fine. I'm impressed. Back to the studio. Now, I don't think anybody's gonna complain about those results. These are nice pieces of kit to use and shoot. The price on these is around £190 for the pistol with all the included gear. And if you want to add the grip and the red dot, then it's another £40, which takes them to around £230 UK, which for all this lot and all that power isn't badly priced at all, in my opinion. Again, 177 if you want to do the target work, 22 if you want to thump something. These feel really nice, the quality is pretty darn good, the kits are loaded with gear and you can choose, as I say, from target or vermin, whichever is your preference and which suits you best. I personally think it benefits from the additional sighting aid and that grip does add an extra level of stability when you're shooting resting or just holding all they need to do now is bring out a pcp version and no i don't have any inside information it's just a person it's just a personal wish list after saying that it's easier to carry a few 12 gram co2s in your pocket than a diver's tank i've had fun with these hopefully you've enjoyed this too Please give us the old thumbs up, subscribe, feel free to share, click the alarm notification bell, check out this little lot, and of course there's Airgun Factory Facebook page. There is always the 880 website and merchandise. A big thank you to the guys at Vector Air for getting hold of this. Sadly, they're going to want them back. Anyway, most of all, a big thank you to you guys for supporting and watching the channel. Please stay safe and shoot safe. And hopefully, oh, I'll see you all next week. I do like this. Bye for now.